section where we'll be discussing uh, another another nested function like uh, we'll be nesting if with and okay uh, in the previous lecture we have uh, we have learned about uh, if within a if okay like nested if and now we'll be uh, nesting if with and function okay so uh, without wasting much time i'll just share my screen uh, this is this is the the revised criteria okay um, where we will be applying uh, if and the and function okay uh, before we before we go into the formula i'll just give you an um, give you an example uh, there is and function and or function in excel it's it's quite similar in in computer science as well and in the in the, in the physics as well where you'll be learning and gate or gate so uh, if both the conditions here if both the conditions are true both the conditions are true the and will re result as true if both the conditions are false it will return as false if a single condition is false it will return as false so for and it, and to return as true both the conditions needs to be true both the conditions needs to be correct for or either of the condition if it is correct it returns as true if both the conditions are uh, are wrong or false then it will return as false so uh, this is what and and or is for and both the condition needs to be true okay so uh, let's uh, let's understand this uh, there we applied a formula in the previous lecture where we have learned if within a if what if i type in 105 if i type in 105 okay it is again giving me a but can can the uh, can the num, uh, score be greater than 100 in, in any subject no it cannot be right so we need to update this formula we need to update this into a criteria basis, right? How how I can do this? If logical test, for logical test, I'll, sorry, I'll type in if, and then I'll type in and. Let me just show you and uh, individually first. And we have logical one, logical two, we can, we can uh, give, too many logics in the and uh, and function right so the logic one will be if this is greater than is equals to 80 comma another logic if this is less than is equals to less than is equals to 100 okay greater than is equals to 80 and less than is equals to 100 right let's see what what does it return it returns true. And what does if says? If it is true, give me this value. Okay. So now I'll apply and function. If logical test, sorry, uh, I need to apply and. If and, why am I writing the name always? Give me a moment. Yeah. If and logical one, B2, okay. Greater than is equals to 80, comma b2 less than is equals to 100 this is the logical test for if if this is true this shall return either true or false right so if this is true what will it return it will return me a right it will return me a suppose if this is not true then we'll again have and b2 now greater than is equals to 60 as per the criteria greater than is equals to 60 comma another criteria b2 is less than 80 i won't write is equals to 80 because if i write is equals to 80 it will again become equals to a right which i don't want i'll close this and bracket and i'll have b for this right now another if if this is not true okay if this is not true and okay what's logical one b2 greater than is equals to greater than is equals to 40 greater than is equals to 40 comma b2 less than 60 then this shall return me 
this shall return me c right this shall return me c now let's apply two more more ifs so that this criteria also gets satisfied greater than 100 and less than 100 as well we can apply simply if b2 is greater than 100 this shall return me score cannot be greater than 100 right okay let's apply another formula if if b2 is less than 0 score cannot be cannot be negative okay if all of them are incorrect if all of these uh, uh, criteria is not shown then return then go back to the else function and type in fail okay let's close the uh, parenthesis already discussed in one of the lectures one bracket one if closed second if closed third if closed four if and five if there are five ifs and all of them are closed. Let's drag and drop this formula. Now let's do one thing. Let's type in 105. See, score cannot be greater than 100. Let's type in minus 5. Score cannot be negative. Let's type in minus 10. Score cannot be negative. Let's type in 39. Fail. This is how you can merge if and and together. This is how you can merge if and and together. Just practice this if and and. Okay, let me just show this function one more time. See, if and the logical test, if this returns true, if this returns true, then give me A. If it is false, then come over here. Again, if this is true, return me B. If this is not false, again, go to this. If not, go to this. If not, go to this. And finally, go to fail. Whatever number of brackets you'll open for if, you'll have to close that. We have five ifs. We have five brackets to close. Right? So this was if and and together. In the next lecture, we'll learn if and or together. And then if and minimum together as well. We'll just merge couple of functions. I'll do, uh, show couple of functions, but you can merge numerous functions with if together. Okay, so practice this. This was a bit lengthy, but practice and function first, and then then merge it together. Learn if function first, then nested if, and then merge it. You can do whatever way you you want. But for the coming lectures, I'll be discussing if and or together if and minimum together and then if and maximum together okay so till then bye bye and thank you